A delicious Maine tradition is going virtual and getting a new name as it adapts for the pandemic. Next month, the Maine Whoopie Pie Festival will be celebrated as Whooptoberfest, giving Whoopie Pie fans an entire month. NECN's Dustin Vokowski finds out what that means for fans of Maine's official state treat. It became pretty clear in the spring that we weren't going to be able to have the festival. After finding itself frosted into a corner. We originally postponed it to October out of uh, excess of optimism. The Maine Whoopie Pie Festival's plan for a sugary in-person fall feasting. Obviously that's not going to happen. Is getting a rebake this year. One without the seven to 8,000 people it normally brings to the tiny town of Dover Foxcroft. Instead, we didn't want to make 2020 the year without Whoopi. The pastry palooza. We at least want to do something online. Is going virtual, rebranding as Whooptoberfest for a whole month of munching, where people sift through batches of bakeries on the internet. We're compiling the biggest list of Whoopi by bakers ever compiled, as far as I know. Make a plan for a physical sugar rush. Somebody could go take a road trip to go purchase one. Is that kind of the concept? Exactly. On the map are going to be little mom and pop shops who uh, just sell in their own store, as well as some of the larger bakers in the state. The filling is maple, but I also put it in the batter itself. Even if you get to meet some of the people who made last year's treats, Whooptoberfest has a less sweet side. The hundreds of thousands of dollars the region gets from visitors won't be there. A top secret project won't be racked up for prime time. I can't say too much, but there's a Guinness Book of World Records attempt. The Whoopi Wizards hope that gives folks something to look forward to. There are big plans in the freezer, so keep calm and snack on till it's safe for in-person festivals again. It's really kind of baked into the soul of Maine. In Portland, Dustin Lukowski, News Center, Maine.